our side plank hold while keeping our body flexed. This is gonna be used if you're having a lot more spasms or pain in your lower back. And if it's really hard for you to extend or open up your hips without your back opening up too much. Oftentimes when doing core work, the lower back loves to help out. And it's only until I can stabilize the front side of my abs that my lower back is gonna calm down and let my hips do what my hips wanna do. So for this movement, I wanna stack my elbow close to my shoulder. So I don't wanna to be too far out. I don't wanna be in this angle position. I wanna actually pull things in a little bit. So my chest is nice and tall. I'm pulling my ribs away from the ground and then squeezing my elbow towards the midline of my body. I'm feeling my shoulder blade engage here. Palm is open. I don't wanna stay stacked here. This is more unstable. I wanna grab the ground. My other hand can come on top of that wrist. It can either stabilize the shoulder or it can go on the ground to help me up, depending on what I need. From here, I wanna squeeze my abs and my glutes up off the ground. I'm gonna feel an intense cramping or intense spasm or control through the front of my abs, through my oblique, so the side of my rib cage. I wanna hold here for the desired amount of time or repetitions, and then I wanna come back down with my hips. The goal here is making sure you're engaging the side of your trunk, the side of your pillar, and the front side. You're not feeling anything in the back of your body, and I'm almost spinning my hips and my pelvis that way. So my belly button is sort of facing the ground. 